two verses. I'm done. Imamla. Imamla. Go and sit down. Go meet mama. Mommy. Amen. Hallelujah. That guy is very, is very anointed. Yesterday he gave the best offering. In this church. Amen. I know when it's offering time, you see this guy performing very well. Where's the money? I hope you have not hide your wallet. You better bring it out. That boy knows when you have not given enough. I was going to the wall and just say, bring all the money, put, put there, come back, take more, take, put, come. Amen. Now, two scriptures, I need two scriptures that we are done. Our psalm, to write a city verses down, psalm chapter number 11, verse 3. Psalm 11, verse 3. And also, if you write a city verses down, right, 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, verse 10 and 11. Psalm chapter 11, verse 3, 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, verse 10 and 11. First Corinthians chapter number 3, verse number 10 and 11. I just want to quickly establish something we are now. Now take note of this, Psalm chapter number 3, I mean chapter number 11 verse 3 says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Did you see that there? Yeah. He said, if the foundation, the foundation is what? Destroyed. What can the righteous do? First Corinthians chapter number 3, verse 10 and 11. Are you there? Paul speaking according to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation and another built thereon. But let every man how he builds their accounts. He said, for all that foundation can no man lay that that which is already laid, which is what? Jesus Christ. I want, to, I want us to establish this fact before we progress. Paul said, I am a wise master builder. In other words, I am an architect. I laid the foundation and others build upon the foundation that is laid. He said, no other foundation can be laid apart from that which has already been laid. And he said, that foundation that has been laid is Jesus Christ. So in other words, understand, the foundation is what? Jesus. Hello, church. The foundation is what? Jesus. Church, the foundation is what? So in other words, in Jesus is the foundation. He said, everything that is built must be built on Jesus. Anything that is built outside Jesus will not stand because that foundation is not guaranteed. Mm, mm, mm. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? And when we read in Psalm chapter number 11, the city said, if the foundation is destroyed, what can you do? There is nothing you can do if your foundation is what? Destroyed. It's not it's finished. Are you catching what I'm saying? When the right foundation in you is gone. But let's establish something. First of all, let's look at what is a foundation? What is a foundation? A foundation is a solid base and structure upon which something is viewed. Hello, church? A foundation is what? A solid base. It's a solid base or structure upon which something is built. Come on, are you with me? 
So in other, in other words, I want you to understand it as we progress. Each and every one of us here, when you read the book of Ephesians chapter number 3, when you read that from verse number 20 to the one twenty two, you will understand that the scriptures say you and I, we are a spiritual house. You and I, we are what? A spiritual what? house. And every house is built upon a foundation. How many of you love this place where we are now? Beautiful place. Amen. How many of you know it's better than where we used to be before? Right. Hallelujah. Those who like good things will always know this is better. Amen. When I came here, I looked at the place as a man of God, this is good. We even the atmosphere notion that the the church will grow. Amen. How many of you know men love good things? Yes. How many of you don't like good things here? Yes. Is anybody who doesn't like good things? I told James, he would tell me that he doesn't like good things. I would have told him to go and bring all the money in the bank account and gave it to me. But I see that the man loves good things. Amen. So, you understand that this house, as beautiful as this house is, but yet, this house cannot be what it is without the foundation. Come on, are you with me? So, I'm bringing some things down here. I want to quickly deal with it. How many of you know that the strength of this house is determined by the foundation of this house? The foundation of the house always determines the strength of the building. If the foundation is not well laid, the building is not strong. You see, it is not like some place in Africa where we come from, compared to Australia. How many of you know you can't build a house here in Australia without your foundation being checked to show that it matches what you're about to build? Huh? Some people back in Africa, some places in Africa, there is nobody that check what you build. Some people, some, once you buy land, you already have a house. Are you talking what I'm saying? Some people don't buy the land and don't bring the they want to build. They say, listen to me, you, you see, Mark, put the stick here. Now, let my bedroom be like this. You just use your leg and roll it and that is it. People start to dig and build. Some place like that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but when they listen to me, even though while you lay a foundation, you still cannot be until your foundation has been checked and approved for what you are about to build. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But the problem with many of us who are spiritual, we don't check our foundation. We are just building what we are building. But you understand the reason why our life is not stable in Christ is because of the wrong foundation that we have. Any wind or any problem can blow us down. Why? Because we have wrong foundation. That is why you see people who believe in Christ. When crisis comes, they begin to consult demonic realms. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They see that here. While they are here in Australia and they come to church, believe God, but yet they can send money back home and, and tell their family back home, this is what I'm going through. They say, don't worry, we will go and consult the, the Babala or the meeting doctor for you or the witch doctor. Some of you will transfer money back home for them to do it. They say, I'm not there. Let them go and do it from back. They go and do it from back and tell you, you try to be religious that you are not part of it. But yet you send money there for them to consult. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. And most times when they come, they always, how many of you know the devil will always find, have you ever gone to the doctor? How many of you know you will never go to a doctor that tells you that he doesn't know what's wrong with you? Right. Every doctor you go will always tell you they know what's wrong with you. Even while they don't know what is wrong, they will tell you what's wrong with you. Huh? And when they don't know what it is, they tell you something else that looks like it. You are having my great headache, they will tell you that maybe it's what you ate. <laughs> you know how many people have died who have been given wrong medication to treat the wrong sickness when different things is wrong with them? There's a woman, uh, I don't know, well, well known from the east in Nigeria that just passed away. Uh, huh? The one, yeah, the one who died in India. Who was that not in uh, that knocks in Nigeria by a Nigerian doctor and says she has cancer. And because she had money, she flew herself, went all the way to America to go to check up there. And said, my doctor 
in Nigeria said I have cancer. The one in America that now said, who told you you have cancer? You don't have cancer. You have a different sickness and give her medication to treat a different sickness. When the one in Africa have been undermined by the one in the West, they say they don't know anything. She came back. Instead of dealing with the cancer that can be treated at the end of came back and forgot and came back and said, you Nigerian doctor, you don't know anything. Who tell her I have cancer? I continued like that. Almost like after seven years, after three years, after seven years, only for the cancer to have grown out of proportion, it was too late. By the time they go back to that, not the same doctor who said there was no cancer, now say, Ah, your problem is cancer. It was too late. Then come to another state. By the time they flew to India, that was how that was she died. Listen, most of us, our lives sometimes is affected because of the kind of foundation we have. Your foundation determines the strength of your life. Anything that is seen outside like Christ does not last. Are you with me? Any marriage that is viewed as a Christ does not work last. I have seen women who have gone into relationship because of desperation that they are losing their age. Are you with me? There are women who come, men who come to church, women who come to church. You see like we are and women come to church and look around and say, well, there are no men in the church that I can marry. If I continue in this church, I know I will not see a man. Yeah? So they come and say, help will help those who help themselves. So in other words, they go out and go, they leave church and go out to the world and even go to the club to go look for a drunkard. They have drunk with that man. Who should say, I love you? After, after intoxication in his mind, say, I love you. He say, yes, I love you. Before you know, you go and marry. The next thing you are coming to the pastor, I don't understand my husband. Pray for me. Why will you understand him when you picked him from somewhere? Because you, 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 you were too desperate. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You are too desperate. As I was saying yesterday, delay does not mean a denial. The fact that I have crossed my 30, come into my 35, and crossing my 40, does not mean that God is done with me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stick on God. God will break that back for you. God will break that woman for you. That will cause you to find peace in life. Are you with me? Quickly, let me also deal with this. Your foundation, the time is how far the structure of the, of the building can go. Are you with me? Your foundation, the time is how far the structure, whether it's going to be a one story building, two story, or ten story building. Your foundation, the time is it. You don't build a skyscraper on the foundation of the one story building. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't view the skyscraper on such foundation. If you were listening to the news uh, during the World Cup, you realize that one of the cities where they were going to play the World Cup, the bridge fell. Mm -hmm. eh? Solid, massive bridge collapsed and killed some people. Don't collapse. Why was something collapsed? Strong foundation. Have you seen houses? No, no earthquake, nothing. The house sometimes will not come down on its own at all. <laughs> like that. Sometimes wrong foundation. Have you seen believers who you think that they are on fire serving the Lord? Before you know it, they don't crash and come. Wrong foundation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Wrong what? Foundation. Listen to me, people of God. You need to check your foundation spiritually. What kind of foundation do you have? When you read Matthew, this one's very important. Let's, let's look at this. Matthew chapter number 7. Hang on with me. I'll, I'll be Matthew chapter number 7. Come quickly with me. Matthew chapter number 7, verse, beginning from verse 24. Very important. I want to look at it. Jesus said, therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon what? A rock. Anyone who listens to what I say and become obedient to him, 
He said, I will liken him to a man, a wise man that builds his house upon the rock. Verse 25. The rain descended, the flood came, the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it did not fall because it was founded upon a rock. Why did that house not fall? Because the foundation of the house is on the rock. I want you to understand, Jesus is the rock. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Jesus is what? The rock. Comes rain, sunshine of the floor that will beat upon that house, it cannot fall because the foundation of that house is on the rock. That is a wise man. Some of you need to ask that, are you wise or are you foolish? You are only wise when you build your house on the rock. But the Bible says, there is another man who is called a foolish man, who built his house, but laid the foundation on the sun. When you read the scripture, let me say, it is the same house both men build. Same material, everything they said they used on the building of the house. But the only difference is the foundation. One was laid on the rock while the other was laid in the sand. The rain came, the flood came, and the wind, everything came on the house. In the same intensity, it came on the other house. But the Bible said the one that was laid on the sand fell. And the Bible said, Great was the fall of that house because it was laid on the sand. So the problem was the foundation. The problem is what? The foundation, because your foundation determines the strength. Hear me. How far you will go spiritually will be determined by the kind of foundation you lay now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is why this church, when I came in here in my own, in my, in my own examination, this church started this week. Did you hear what I said? Those of you who are coming now, it don't, don't ever measure what is going on now by what you used to know before. God has started a new and a fresh walk. Mm. Are you catching what I'm saying? A new and a fresh walk with a new grace. The kind of foundation we lay now will determine how it affects the work in the future. So in other words, that is why at this time we are taking time to pray. Not just cooperating the man of God, leading us in some strategic prayer, but in our home, there are intercessions of so that we can lay the foundation and how this will be done. If we cannot do it now, it will affect the work tomorrow. Are you catching what I'm saying? I know we Africa, we come from Africa, but some of us carry Africa in us. You know what they call African time? Eh? Six is for seven, seven is for eight. They don't, they don't always come on time, but they always go to their job on time. <laughs> eh? You know that if you show up late, first time, second time, third time, you are going to lose your job. Some of you will wake up, no matter whether it is slow, you will drive inside the storm and go to work. <laughs> eh? No matter how hot cold it is in the month, <laughs> you run into your bathroom quickly, you open your hot water and cool down yourself and dress. You are, you are, you are Socks, everything you are running to, to work just because of a man, but some of you are not even afraid of God. Come to church, you are coming late, and some of us are coming to church, we are even screwing, even making our left so that everybody knows everybody know that you have arrived. And yet, you are coming late, you have your dashing to work. Not that you even sit at the back, you even walk all so that everybody sees you come and sit here. Everybody sees that you have come. And you are coming just 15 minutes for service to be over. Oh, eh? Man of God, something cannot be tolerated. Amen. Are you catching what I'm saying? Yes, so what am I trying to say? We should now begin to lay the right foundation. Yes, sir. Because if we continue like that, other members will continue like that. So therefore, in 7 o'clock, meeting starts at 7. You know what he says, start to pray. 30 minutes prayer, 15 minutes, whatever it is, we start to pray. Just start. If nobody is here, preach to your wife or your daughter. Just preach to them. Anybody come meet us, we'll close. Some people will survive. They are coming to church while we are saying the grace. <laughs> huh? I was here at 6 o'clock. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I said, some people get miracles, some people don't. I go to church to hear, yeah, go to the same church. The same one is preaching, I go to the same church. Why is it I want to get a miracle you don't get? It? 